it yeah. all just makes sense you know like yeah. all of it seems like some melodramatic crap but when you look they when they do it it just makes absolute sense and i yeah. just couldn't help the, but get swept away in it it was so the, good the very very ending for me uh this was another film that almost got me it almost got me oh really it's a time it's a time it's a time you like pizza time pizza time Hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Indian Cinema Tuesday. That's what we're just going to call this going forward. Uh, we'll work because, on it. Yeah, we're working on it. We're work on, we'll work on some uh, alliteration. Isn't that what it's called? So, yeah, but, sure. Mean, uh, we're we can't, call, we're it, we can't call it Tollywood Tuesday because it's not all Tollywood films. It's not. Right? No. So that would be offensive. No. Uh, well, maybe not offensive, but I don't know. Uh, anyway, today, <laughs> I'm <gonna> start. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're recording this at night after we both worked all day. Uh, I know. So, yeah, it's a little different for us. Uh, but today, we're talking about PK. It was the second most uh, voted on our poll, which actually became the first most voted on our poll. Yeah, when, funny how that turned out, right? Yeah, we recorded Sardar Udam review, and then, like, the next day, PK passed it. and we were Passed like, oh, it, right? Whoops, oh. I guess we should have put, like, an end date on the poll. And when we did, uh, when we put out our Sardar Udham review, which, by the way... Thank you. Ba- banger. Because, uh, yeah, thank you. It's by far our most quote-unquote successful vid in the sense that you guys – it, it rose uh, in in views the yes. quickest out of any video we've ever done. And it keeps rising. So uh, yeah. it's working. Thank it's working. you guys so much. Thank you guys We're doing so our much. best. Yeah, we're doing our best. We're going to get out as many of these as we can. You guys keep – Flood in the comments. Please keep flooding the comments. Yeah, Please it's so fun. The, yeah, it's so much fun to reply to all of you guys and interact with all of you uh, a world away or if some of you in the United States, not that far away. I don't know. But yeah, is it the internet great? Makes worlds yeah. away close. But anyway, yes. Before we jump into our review of PK, uh, we want to say thank you for everything. But also, if you could give us a like, give us a subscribe, we'd yes. really appreciate it. We could quit our jobs and do this full time. <laughs> you know, hey. It would just be a dream. But well, yeah, set, set the but whoa, hold on, set the bar though. Like it's not at like three hundred subscribers, but yeah, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. one well, day, you know, one day, maybe. But let's get to three hundred subscribers first. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I All think right, we'll guys. get there. All right. So today, as we said off the top, we're talking about PK. It is from the same director. I'm so sorry, Raj Kumar Hurani, uh, and starring Afro. Uh, ooh, did I mess up his name? Amir. Afron Khan, right? No, Amir, Amir Khan. Khan. Amir, Amir Khan. Khan, sorry. Uh, starring Amir Khan of Three Idiots, uh, which Three Idiots, as we said there, and it's still in my mind, it's probably one of the best films we've ever watched in our lives. Uh, but yeah. we're going to jump into PK. Essentially, PK is about uh, <laughs> it's about an alien who lands on Earth, and he's there for a research mission and immediately gets robbed by a human. Nice, great great first impression uh human humans wonderful <laughs> yeah. it probably would be not too far from the truth let's be honest uh but immediately gets robbed and then he goes on a journey of discovering different types of religions and different types of mm-hmm. uh churches and religious bodies and he's basically asking god to give him back his remote so he can get back home and it leads through this very very it turns into what becomes a very, very deep movie about a deeper discussion about what is your religion versus what is your faith. And um, um, yeah, it, it's a very, very, again, it is another banger from uh, in India. Like I don't, banger is probably disrespectful to say, but it's just a fantastic movie. Um, that's my brief thoughts. And that's kind of the overview. He meets, uh, he meets Jangu, I believe was her name. Jagu. Uh, Jag- Jagu. Mitch Jagu, who is a journalist and helps basically bring his story forefront and really kind of challenges the ideologies there. Uh, I don't yeah. know a good way to say that. Yeah, ideologies there. And uh, yeah, it's it's a very, very great story. So, Ed, what did you think of PK? Yeah, I I, I agree with you. I it's it, these movies, man, are, are they're, they're, they're just so they're so great. Mm-hmm. And PK is not an exception. I okay. really, really love this movie a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's just yeah. it, it has a very particular tone uh, punctuated by yet again by Amir Khan and his his performance is just, uh, you know, it's an alien. And uh, it's like, look, hey, we need you to take that great face of yours and just like put it to work and yeah. your, your comedic chops. 
and like like le- le- let's go. Yeah. And it's this wonderful kind of a fish out of water story that then turns into this yeah, as you said, this 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 interest this uh, look at religion and not just uh, all religion. Mm-hmm. I know in they practice certain ones in in India that we saw there like Hindu and Sikh and um, um, even Catholicism and Catholicism as well, yeah. which, yeah, where I come from originally. And, yeah. uh, but o- overall it's really just, yeah, this look on religion and how humans sort of use it and, uh, and perhaps exploit it, uh, to their own, you know, yeah, to their own needs. And that, that can be a little bit, uh, not great sometimes, but yeah, I just, it's, it's, it's so funny. Uh, it's, it's such a funny film. It has a great, again, it has a great tone, great pacing. And the one thing I just, I'm figuring out about Indian cinema in, in general. Your guys' screenplays are so fantastic. Yeah. Like you, most of these films, I don't really know where they're going. Yeah. And I love that. You don't get that in American cinema anymore because we're so freaking unoriginal. Yeah. You, you can pretty much tell where most movies are going. It, it, so far, what I've seen, it's it's just you just never really know because every single se- when the scenes build off each other, there's like a brand new element that's brought in, like the uh, like the wrong number concept, and then suddenly mm. there's like you know what I mean? Like there's yeah. just a, always a new thing for the characters to do, and it makes it very uh, an exciting experience, and also just you, you really don't really know where where things go, and I and this is one of those movies yet again, um, and so yeah, another great hit. I loved it. It was very it was it was really cool. Yeah, uh, I would, you know, uh, piggyback off of you, another fantastically written, just fantastically acted, directed film. Um, everything from even the music is just really well done. Mm-hmm. Um, you get three in this one. I yeah. Think. That's a lot. Yeah, the, not, the, not just the music videos or the musical scenes. I'm talking about just oh, the music oh. in general that yeah. is paired with um, PK. PK's, yeah. uh, which means, I guess, kind of loosely tipsy, translated to right? tipsy, which is very yeah, clever because everybody really thinks fun. he's drunk. Um, but yeah, there's just so many great moments in this. And um, really, I think it kind of, you know, it, it hit home for me because I've had the discussion with my mom before about, you know, and my wife actually about like, well, isn't it weird that, you know, here we have a guy named Joel Olstein. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. He's not a great person, but people flood to his mega church and just give him money Mm -hmm. because basically he says essentially what his holiness in this movie says he has a direct line to God. Um, and basically as it's, you know, (laughs) as you go through the movie, find out that you don't have a direct line to God. And I think, you know, it's, I've had that discussion, you know, with my mom and wife about like, you know, well, is it, is it the church that we're supposed to be worshiping or is it, you know, the, the, oh it's the definitely god. not the church <laughs> right. is it the god that we're supposed to be rush, worshiping you know like yeah. that that to me is and i'm i'll say i'm not a religious person uh-huh i was gonna ask so you anymore. i was gonna ask you do if, if you were comfortable like do you or do you you don't practice anything i assume uh no i mean i got my faith and i think did you that's did you ever important. yeah did you well, ever I grew up catholic. particular yeah oh I you did up, i grew up catholic i remember okay. like asking my I, mom, I really don't know you know she okay. would give money in the baskets and i'm like where's that yeah. money going exactly and they're like you know they'd always tell you oh poor people and i was like is it really going to no, poor no. people is it even in this catholic church that's not like a mega church so no. you know like um yeah i think for for me it, it kind of like it, it hit home for me and the whole wrong number you know the wrong number bit to me i love the wrong so, number concept so clever he's like you have the wrong number he, Very clever. you're getting pranked and um yeah, I, I there's one scene that I just thought was, you know, really, really, uh, really excellent. It's when he brings in all the different people wearing what you would mm-hmm. expect them to be wearing. And then mm-hmm. the his holiness gets all of them wrong because he just changed the clothes. You know, you're not yeah. you're not defined by what you wear. And right. I just like I really loved that part. I was like, this is this is this guy, this writer has a lot Sharp. of heart and he's sharp and he's witty. And um, yeah, what a, what a fun, fun movie. Again, just uh, what were some of your favorite parts? Uh, well, to, to piggyback off what you just said, I, that, I read a little bit about uh, the director and, you know, writing this movie. Mm. And he, it's, I'm glad you brought that up because that's exactly sort of, I think, what he was aiming for when writing the film. He brought mm. up this idea. Like, he was like, look, I... I have something to say, but I'm a little bit unsure about how to say it. 
Uh, but I, what I want to do is take this sort of serious thing, something that is typically known as being sacred or serious, you know, but right, right. Uh, and make it entertaining. You yeah. know, and I think he did that, especially with that scene where, you know, he's basically showing us that um, I think to a point religion, I don't think religion, I don't think he's trying to say religion is bad by any means. No, right. It's, it's not agree. anti-religious at all. Right. But he it kind of again, it's this idea of I think sometimes we lose our way in the whole collective idea of like believing in a, mm-hmm. in a higher power for, you know, for our own sort of uh, right. our benefit or hope. Uh, we lose our way sometimes and we get so caught up in the little details that we we it's easy to judge other people and and we need to realize that we all no matter what we believe even if it's different we all do it for the basically the same reason mm-hmm. and we should respect each other for that so i thought that was a really great point that he, that you that you brought up that was a, that was a great scene um one of my favorite scenes yeah was <laughs> uh well my absolute favorite scene is the ending. That Ooh. whole climax at the studio. It, okay, is well, can we go back before fantastic. that? Go back for it. Okay. So remember like remember what I said last week in Saudi Arabia wow. and review. There's yeah. always a moment in one of these films that just seems to punch you in the gut and stick with you. Yes. And can we talk about the, 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 right. the terrorist attack? Yeah. The the train bombing. Yeah. That, the, oh. I loved the I loved the inclusion of that scene because of how stark contrast it was to the rest of the movie. Yes, it was so sudden and violent, mm-hmm. and it really punctuated what was yeah. about to come. And it's a great it's a, it was a great move by the director and the writers to include such a, you know, normally very troubling scene to deal with, and they you know they do it. But it's and it's for and it's for a good reason. It, yeah. it's, it's exactly to set up that that ending. Yeah, that was a surprise. I was not expecting that Me whatsoever. Either. I was, yeah. yeah, there's always, there's always, like, like you said earlier in the review, um, there's always a moment, uh, that you, uh, that's not what you said. You said, you don't ever know where these are going. Yeah. You know? Right. They're, they're, yeah. they're so great at doing just, just keeping you on your toes, which again, like you exactly. said, not to repeat, but like our films have become so unoriginal. You can, you can, you can figure out what's happening. We were speaking about you season four before this started mm. or like, we called it, I don't know, four episodes in or something. Like, you know where it's going. But, like, this, there's just so many twists and turns. Even in this, like, even in this movie that's just a drama and comedy, there's so many twists and turns. It's not even, like, a thriller which we you expect. I agree. Well, that's the thing is that yeah. they're not even – I wouldn't even particularly call them – they're not twists by any – De- uh, stretch of the definition that we usually right. use that term, right? Like you'd hear it in horror movies. They're, they're – again, like, they're just – they – they do. I, I guess they just don't follow this this mold that we've right. been following for so long, uh, and they're bra- they're they're not even breaking rules. Like when you watch it, it, it plays like a movie. It smells yeah. like a movie. It looks like a movie. It's yeah. they're not doing anything particularly different. Right. Yet it feels so fresh right. because I, I think it says more about it, it says a lot about how we've been doing our films for decades now. It's just so stale. Um, right. Actually, I'll I'll raise you one up. I like the scene even right before that. Okay. Which was again, this ending was amazing. Yes, right when oh. they're on the when they're drinking at the top of the uh, and oh, no at the at her uh, Jagu's her house apartment, yeah. and yeah. Uh, he wants to tell her he wants to tell her he loves her. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. but then she she starts breaking down. He holds her hands and he learns the whole backstory between her and Sar. I forget the boyfriend's name. Sar Sarfraz Sarfraz. Yeah. Right. I I mean again this is late in the movie already and I'm just like I yeah. I love that setup again they the one scene after another they're setting up this final excellent scene and it's 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 wonderful you go from crying you know you feel you feel happy for him then you start to cry because you feel kind of sorry for her and him because you realize oh shit I guess I'm not gonna get the girl at the end of this right yeah uh, then you cry because he lost his freaking brother. Uh, not real brother, but he lost his friend, his dear friend, in a bombing. I mean, Jesus Christ! And then, of course, and yeah, in the final scene, if we if Gosh. we can go there now, let's what, go there. It's oh. just it's such a phenomenal. It's just it and it, it ta- I, this is what Indian cinema is really good at doing too is taking all the characters that they've built up, you know, uh, swept through in the in, in the movie and giving everyone their moment. Yes. Uh, you know, and, and what my favorite part of that was the very very end of that moment where the dad gives. Uh, the dad gives PK the his his remote. You know, you would think by the end of the film, like uh, someone else would be giving be giving him that remote, whether it be the uh, the what's his name, the 
the guru to pop the holiness pop, I, pop I just keep going yeah the whole his holiness his holiness, holiness or jagu but no it's the dad and i just i i love that moment because again like we don't really see the dad that often and he's not really in the movie until like basically later half of the or like the, yeah the later part of the film and he still yeah. gets this great moment where he he's like thank you for taking care of my daughter like i see what you're saying now you should you know you deserve this you should go home it's just and then the the oh oh let's talk about our uh mr virus who who shows up in this movie which i didn't ex- <laughs> i didn't know he was in it but i had a feeling like of course when directors and actors work together they they, right. they work together a lot and he's in this movie he plays the uh the head of the stu- the studio or whatever and yeah. uh, he gets a great moment you know and it's just i mean no, it's you're, you're it's such a great build it, co- it covers all the bases of the the religion and then her uh, the subsequent um you know the her failed marriage with this guy and you realize oh there's a twist that you know it wasn't it wasn't meant for her and then he yeah. reads the fucking note i don't know it was uh, just so good it yeah. all just makes sense you know like yeah. all of it seems like some melodramatic crap but when you look they when they do it it just makes absolute sense and i yeah. just couldn't help the, but get swept away in it it was so the, good the very very ending for me uh this was another film that almost got me it almost got me oh really the, the very very ending for me there was two things almost made him fall huh yeah where Not uh where joggy's like i guess reading her book that she wrote about pk um and oh yeah she oh man there's two parts one where she basically says he learned something from us yeah 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 he learned was, to lie he learned to lie which Love was it. you know one sacrifice he learned because the other was he learned to let her go yeah um which was just so sweet and then it's just like button ended with an even more sweeter moment because jagu tells this story you know middle of the movie about you know my dad was standing up there whistling me uh in my like like grade school yeah i forget if it was a play or something right and she was the only one left standing and still whistling and then she, there she is. She finishes her book, and it's her dad, and he starts whistling and he starts clapping longer than everybody else. And you just like in that yeah. moment, you're just like, oh, the the, the connections yeah. that yeah. these writers make, and they do it. It's like it leaves you, it just leaves you speechless at times. Really, it makes me speech. It leaves me speechless because I'm like, why don't we see that more yeah. often in movies nowadays? I feel right. like they spend too way too much time to try to either cover it up or failed to do it completely yeah. but here it's just it, it's fairly you know it, there's no there's no sugar coating there's no nothing it's like it, they, they they show you the setup and they show you the payoff and you yeah. respond it's that easy you know it's it's filmmaking 101 and for whatever reason i just feel like we don't see that anymore we don't we, we i'm not i don't get the same feeling from our, our our contemporary movies anymore like say an indian movie from just 2014 which is not that too long oh technically oh that's 10 years ago now almost but um yeah, oh, it, it's a hard pill to swallow. It is a little hard pill to swallow. Sorry about that, but yeah, oh. it's, it's just like uh, yeah, you know, it, there's not there's no trickery being done here. No, not whatsoever. I've, we've seen this done before, and they're just doing it better, uh, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. So, um, that's a that was a great moment too. And I I start I started crying again when he uh, when she at the end when she listens to all the tapes and realizes that you know yeah uh, he loves her that much. And that he's willing to basically just stuff that down uh, yeah. so that she can be happy, and you know, uh, so good. And that's crazy, right? Like they, that love story doesn't happen until like way in like the last hour of the movie, not, if not a little later like than the last that. Twenty minutes, yeah, like, maybe like 30, and 20 minutes. It's not that long, and it still hits. It still hits. It yes, still hits. You still feel it. You still feel you feel bad for uh, for PK, and then like. Jagu still loves this guy and you're just like oh and you know in the beginning when I was watching to go back to Jagu and her love story yeah I was like oh what I I, I wasn't saying oh but I was like what does this have to do <laughs> with the main story I thought this was going to be about this guy right right and then, right of course they tie it all back together and they all realize that and it was you know it was his you know prank call wrong you know wrong yeah. number yeah. that Put, he put a wrong number in her head and that's yeah. why she didn't stay there right um that's so good it's so good and I, i'm glad you brought that up in the beginning because i was kind of feeling that too like where mm. if it goes it feels like it goes on a non sequitur because we're because it starts off with the alien and then we go with uh jagu and uh her boyfriend for like a really long time yeah before we meet back up with pk and i'm like wondering like huh i wonder where this is going i'm not really sure yet yeah 
Uh, but yeah, I, at the end of it all, I, I understand why they did it, and I thought it made complete sense. But again, that that happens a lot in Indian cinema. Again, if you want to, like, I this felt a lot like Tiger, where I'm like, what is this movie all of a sudden? This is not what I was expecting, but it worked. You're right. You're I like right. this. You know, it's, like they they don't they don't they 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 know what they're doing. They they yeah. don't they're not scared of losing the audience. Yeah, you know, they're not uh, which, which they don't. They they're, they're not scared no. of at least potentially losing the audience. So it's like, okay, look. We know that we're gonna have this long sequence where basically we don't have our main character in it for a while, right? But it's necessary. It's right. going to pay off, and they trust yeah. themselves with it, and they trust the audience to, yeah. to to do that too. And it's like, yeah, right on, man. Yeah, I That's think this awesome. is our our sixth Indian film. Indie, yeah. Only I would say I would oh say, God. yeah, only six. Watched, yeah, I feel like going, I've watched like twenty of them by we'll now. We'll be going yeah. for years at this point. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I I think this is our our sixth and you're starting to get a feel for the structure of them, you know, yes. you know, their say three act structure is mm -hmm. obviously a lot different than ours, but it is, it, it, it almost lands so much harder and more impactful than our three act structure. Or maybe I'm just tired of our three act structure. It could be. That. Oh, well, it, well, it's a part of it too, though. I don't, I don't want this to go out of our heads. We are getting the greatest hits all at once. It's we very, have their we've true. all of I'm sure our audience has oh no they no they have they yeah. watch all Indian cinema or most of it at least I'm sure yeah. more than we have and I'm sure they've had some duds <laughs> I'm yeah. sure they've had them like what the fuck is this like so you know we're 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 biased and we're also just uh yeah we're being spoiled at the moment yeah. so you never know. um but it's true you're right there is definitely di there's a different structure for sure it's not the same which I'm I'm liking a lot you know nice yeah I I agree I mean it, what are some other things you liked about this film? Some of the other scenes that stuck out to you? You got so, it somewhere? I do. Well, one, I want to, I need to shout out him again, but Amir Khan's just awesome. His He's just a phenomenal performer. <laughs> he, he reminded me of Charlie Chaplin in this film. Oh. He is so good with his using his face mm -hmm. and his, his, his entire physicality. It's, it's very much like Charlie Chaplin esque. Yeah. You know, and it, he understands what would get a laugh and what he needs to do in order to because uh, also he's an alien. So he needs to really figure out the physicality to make you sort of understand that he's not from there, but also make you laugh. And mm -hmm. he's just so good at it. and his face, which, you know, no offense, man, I mean, you're, you're a freaking handsome dude. But also your face is like it's unique. You yeah. know, you have really big eyes. You, your ears are, they even make fun of his ears in the movie. Yeah. He's got like Dumbo ears. Yeah. They, he do all the people have ears like this? <laughs> when he's like trying to like, you know, fix his hair and everything. Yeah, yeah, he fixes yeah. his ears. That part's so clever and funny. Exactly. Yeah. And, but you know, depending on the actor you get, sometimes you can get a very, like you, you, you get someone who maybe overdoes it. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, Amir is fantastic he's clearly a really talented guy and you love it when he's on screen you really kind of want to him to be on screen all the time yeah. he's so sweet um and and clever um and so he's 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 incredible so i was gonna say i also really enjoyed that whole story he tells when they're in when they're trapped in jail of like you know his yeah. his experiences first when off he meets his he, brother when, yeah yeah it's like That's, a dissection what, what's yeah. awesome is that it's a dissection of humans like just human yes. mundane stuff and i love that right it's just it's basically like bits put together about like yeah. how humans are, are a little bit weird and uh you know nothing really makes a lot of sense uh mm -hmm. sometimes and then it, it leads into the religious stuff I, I love that whole thing i just yeah. i that 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 whole uh backstory was really clever and sets up the entire story of like what exactly we're supposed to to uh focus on but i i, I enjoyed it it was fun it was just a bunch of like things to make you laugh and reflect on how you know yeah, I mean, humans can be the, the, it's fun. One of the main things I love about the film, and this goes for Three Idiots as well, uh, it both these films leave you thinking. You know, they they leave you, yeah, kind of like like your 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 brain's going. It's the the hamster wheels turning. Yeah, it like, engages you yeah, for yeah, sure. You're in, you're engaged so much in this like, you know, sometimes plucky, sometimes heartbreaking story, and then you're still left with a lot of hard thought afterwards. And that those movies like that are great. Um, I agree. Because, you know, you just, again, like to, it, it goes back to, you know, it, do I need the church or do I just need my faith? And there's so many like amazing, like lines in this that I think when you ask, uh, ask people, you can trigger some people, which is what sure. you want to do. Right. Uh, so 
yeah, I think I think that I think that's one of my favorite parts of this film. That it's just that it sticks with you. Yeah, I agree. And like I think with this film and Three Idiots, uh, this director is very much interested in in humans right it's yeah. about the human experience and i think that's why it does stick with you because he's definitely mm -hmm. giving you something you're familiar with uh at, at, on a human level and it again these these emotional beats really take you through sort of it, it asks you questions about like again like uh well helps you not take them for granted how about that right. yeah you know that, that, that we get caught up in a, in a lot of normal life that you really don't stop to sort of Think about it for a second, and uh, I think his films do that really well, where it shows you, uh, uh, it sh it shines a light on a particular you know section of of hu humanity. This one in religion, uh, very obviously very focused on it, and um, yeah. yeah, you you kind of have to just uh, laud it for that. I, I I same like you, I had a completely uh, it hit home for me as well because I I also grew up Catholic. I went to CCD, which if you don't know what that is, it's like conf. It's like Mega Church or something? Catholic, yeah, like Catholic boot camp, you know. Oh, it's, it's oh. kind of like that. Yeah, I did not know that. Well, you know, they they te you go every Sunday. Uh, clearly, you never you did this Sunday school. You never heard of Sunday school? I mean, I went to Sunday school. You did go like, to Sunday not school. every okay. Sunday, like oh I yeah, did, it was did, every Sunday. I did the whole like you know um, catechism and yeah, confirmation. That, was not, that wasn't every Sunday for you. Nah. What? I went, Hold like, the phone. Okay, now I'm mad. I'm gonna go back and. I did not go every Sunday. No. Oh, bro, it was like every Sunday for me. No, like there was like sections, like oh, four weeks to do the catechism, and then another four weeks to do the confirmation Get every the Sunday. Fuck out of here. Well, I should have lived in. That's Texas. it. Yeah, that's Fucking it. A. God Maybe damn it. The the Mexican Catholics, they got it down. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. Or they were like, no, fuck that. I'm not doing every Sunday. It, that my mom was probably you can maybe, love god uh, not yeah. every sunday maybe it was my mom single mom she's like no nope, i'm not fucking taking you this is my day off i'm not taking you you're sitting see, I had home the, I, doing chores that's funny see even even in the same religion that we grew up with that's different because they got i my mom was the opposite uh she was like every sunday you're gonna go to catholic you're gonna go to catholic school right i was like okay and i went through confirmation i was confirmed and everything and then sometime around high school uh i was like yeah, I think this is a bunch of bullshit. And then uh, eventually, <laughs> what I start, what I started to do—no offense to anybody, that's just my personal take. Uh, <laughs> what happened was I actually I gave it a chance, and I, I hope this is interesting, to people. But I know we're getting a little personal, but I, it, it has to do with the movie. Yeah, I gave absolutely. I gave the I still gave the uh, the religion a chance, even though I was pretty much in my mind I was like. You know, I was I was a science man. I was like, none of this makes a lot of sense to me. And, and so I'm just going to not really I don't, I don't know if it's for me, but for like about maybe half a year, I didn't tell my parents this. I I started going to church without them. I started going by myself. They wow. still don't know this. If my mom, if my mom or my dad are watching this, this I've not I've never told this to you. I started going by myself because I wanted to know. Like I, I used to go because I felt like I had to because they yeah. told me. So I was like, okay, well, I'll give it another shot though. Maybe I do believe in this or whatever. But I should go by myself. I need to go because I need, I want to, and I feel it. And so I went for about half a year by myself, and obviously that it didn't work. But I don't know. It, it, again, religion in 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 a, it, especially when you're like you're a young a young ki kid when you're not mm -hmm. even in your twenties yet. It's just one of those things in life where you, especially when you grow up with it, you just, you have to think about it and you got to go like, does, how does this work for me? You know, does yeah. it work for me? Yeah. And, uh, I think when you're young too, you get a little angry cause you feel like you've been lied to or whatever. I was definitely uh, like an angry at the yeah. time, like an atheist. I, I don't, oh. I don't, I don't label myself anymore. I, I just, yeah. I'm a human. I just don't care. Uh, uh, but I don't believe in, I'm not religious. That's all I'll say. But yeah, at the time yeah. I'm like, Oh, I'm, I'm an atheist. <laughs> you know, I want to put a stamp on it so that I, it's like a form of, uh, anger. Just like your label. It's your label. Fuck you. I'm not Catholic. I saw past your lies. It's like, yeah, you, okay. yeah, whatever. It would be your label. It would like be label. Says. Yeah, you were born with exactly, and uh, I I wish I had seen this movie when around that time because I could learn that it's like look fine that's fine nobody at the end of the day no people really shouldn't care what you do like as long as it it works for you um, yeah then it works for you as long, and if it's for a force for good uh, rather than like well here train bombing and that was just fucking right and there's you know, there's another moment where when they're saying oh wrong at, uh, wrong, wrong call number. wrong number or, sorry. Uh, Mm -hmm. wrong number you know there's there's a girl saying oh but you know this religion says women can't go to school wrong mm -hmm. number wrong number like and you know he makes so many good points in it saying what what 
actual religion yeah. is saying that? What actual thing? And that for me, that's where I really kind of connect to it because I, you know, the the conversations I've had with my wife, you know, we're not we're not a part of a church or anything like that because it's just like why are organized religion to me is weird. Ugh. I don't mean that. In the a, least, sure, yeah. I don't. I don't mean that in a mean way. If it's your thing, that's your thing. I have no disrespect to you. I think it's, but like it, here in America, you know, there's so many different versions of Christianity, and it's just you know, the rules are made by them, and the, you know, the question's like, well, wait a minute, why, what, why is it just your rules that go? Why do I have this? Is your rules, not God's rules? Mm -hmm. you know that's where i started to make the really big connections to this film and i'm like i've literally had conversations like that going well why are we following this book's rules only what this book church says and this church has its own book that's written its way yeah it what makes that the the rule of the land you know i didn't know you had a to quote the movie i didn't know you had a direct connection to god i didn't know that Right. So for me, like I, I do have faith and I do, you know, believe in a higher power in God and all that. And, you know, it, it, and at the end of the day, I think that this movie was just I would have loved to see this movie at 24 when it right. came out again, right. if I knew about it, because like that's what I was feeling back then. And I, I've had conversations and, you know, my grandfather is a, like a devout Catholic, but even he's stopped going to the church. Mm -hmm. You know, being mm -hmm. a man of faith doesn't mean it's being a man of organized religion yeah that that's to me is why this movie kind of stuck home the way it did um yeah and you you know you brought up the word odd and it's like i don't think that's weird for you to say because like look they bring it up in the movie too you know we saw the scenes where people are rolling around on the on the ground yeah why like, would he want that yes objectively yes. that's odd uh, but if yeah, that's what you practice but, fine but you know amir well, brings like it up says, he's like you know, why did why, why would he not help you like why would why does yeah. god want you to give money to this church instead of just saying no go stand by your ailing wife that scene is so good yeah. he's saying no stay by your wife for as long as you can because you're gonna lose her right it's right brilliant you know yeah um i agree there's a lot of oddities in what people practice and what they think sort of shows their devotion to uh their said religion and i i, I don't know i feel like there's a point where you kind of just it just yeah. is too much. Like, yeah, why, like why, 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 why there's so many, why, what are these rules? You know, and you mentioned earlier that, oh, you know, there are a lot of sects of different parts of re different, like offshoots of one religion, like uh, Christianity has a bajillion. It happens in the Philippines too. My, my father's side of the family, when I last went there, I, I learned something about them, which is he has a big family um, in this certain part of the Philippines called Cavite. And they, um, you know, obviously the Philippines in and of itself is very much a Christian slash catholic uh practicing oh, I didn't know that. yeah very much oh yeah i mean that's like I, no. hey dude i'm sorry look you guys i'm the least cultured person on the planet i didn't know oh, no, I, I had mean, no I, idea christianity was uh, practiced in india that was a I, shock me too I yes like, he, uh, yeah they, exactly them, they Apparently, and, and also they, also in korea i learned that just a couple of years ago like korea, korea. A, yeah korea there's a lot of christian koreans uh, in in korea town there's a bunch of church. I've been to a church in Koreatown for Catholics. What? Yeah, hundred percent. It's it's crazy. I am it's shook. Wild. It, yeah, it's, it's it's wild. Yeah, but you ahead, know, again, well, really quick. My, my main point was in the Philippines. One of my cousins was talking to me. I, I had we had fallen into discussion about it somehow. We typically try not to, uh, but we fell into it, and I learned that basically, even just in my own family, they practice very some parts uh, half of them practice a very particular form of catholicism and christianity while the other and i forget the name and so i don't want to say it but and then the yeah. other and it's a whole another it's a whole different thing they still believe in the same god it's just these different rules like it's just these it's different set of yeah. rules and i was like i was like okay i mean yeah. sure i mean whatever you guys want but like so why why do we do this why do we do this why do we continue you know, religion is supposed to bring people together, and it does, but also can really separate people. And I'm like, religion tears maybe people at, apart sometimes. Even at, yeah, exactly. And that's what's disheartening. It's like, well, why that? Why is that the message? I don't really understand it. Like, yeah, we just fucking accept whatever weird shit people do. It's fine. It doesn't have to yeah. like make you hate them. It shouldn't it, lead to killing people or bombing people or 
doing these horrible atrocities in the name of whatever. Oh, another fantastic point they made in the movie about uh oh shit. Wait, no, no, I lost it. Wait, no, no. What was the line? It was uh No. Um, it was what, so what, good. When does it happen? Like near I the end too. Um uh, I'm gonna catch it. I'm, I'm gonna catch it. Sorry, I fucked that up. You go. I'm gonna. Fi- I'm gonna think about it for a second. Hold on. Uh, okay, so line. it's funny because when you said that, when you you know the two separate um, Catholic uh, rules in the Philippines that your <laughs> two sides of your family practice, you know, it's funny because I I had friends in high school and it's Lent right now. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, and about. like Catholics say, you know. Uh, I never asked why till I got into like high school, but like Catholics say you're not supposed to eat meat on Friday, you know. But I had Christian friends, and like Catholicism and Christianity are like I don't brother really, sister. I, I couldn't tell you the difference to be honest with you, but I don't Christ- know the strict difference either to be honest with you. I really don't. My Christian friends could eat meat, and I couldn't. And I'm like, well, we read the same book, don't we? And like, I would I get in arguments with them, and like, I would be like, it's the same book. But yours has different rules. Don't don't you think this doesn't make a lot of sense? Why does yours have different rules? Who made the rules? And yeah, no one can right. ever answer my question. Yeah. Which, well, no, they still can't. Until can. you get I older, mean, you're like, yeah. well, wait a minute. You wrote the rules. Hold the damn second. <laughs> yeah. Like the was it the Lutherans? They only exist so King Henry could get divorced. Right. He left the Catholic Church just so he could get divorced. So, like, yeah. <laughs> <Baller>. <laughs> that's that's true. That's the fucking truth. You don't like, hey, gangster. Yeah, that's <laughs> You do you, bro. But yeah, you know, uh, the the scene to bring it back to the movie, the scene where he goes to the different, uh, the mosques and the you know the different uh, religious establishments. Ah, uh, yeah, he was saying like, well, I didn't know which god to follow, so I followed yeah. all of them. Yeah, and like you know, everything, everybody had different rules and different things, and you know, that was fascinating. That scene was so yeah. That scene was so fascinating to watch. You know, kind kind of get just a little bit of taste of different things. Yeah, like the the scene where they're the swords are hitting their backs and he's cutting himself. Oh, can somebody please yeah, tell that... me what religion that is? Uh, please oh down in the God. comments. Um, it's horrible. But uh, it's, oh man, I was just like, and if you know oh. what that is, can you tell us in the comments and yeah, what I'm it's not 100% for? Yeah, sure. It reminds um, me of. Uh... Silas, is it still or Silas, Silius from uh, Da Vinci Code? Remember that whole thing with uh, him, Paul Bettany? Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah, like, yeah. he has to wear that fucking, he whips himself and he has to fucking wear that, I don't know what they call it, but that basically that chain that wraps around his leg is just making him bleed. I was like, oh, what are you doing, bro? Yeah. Stop it. Uh, yeah. So it reminds I, me of that. I'm like, oh. Yeah. That was, that whole scene was so fascinating to watch yeah. basically the little taste of every religion and what every, you know, devout person does and goes through yeah. um you know and i yeah I, I i thought i thought that scene was great um another scene that i really really loved was the scene when he sets up the rock and he puts mm-hmm. a little paint yeah, on it or yeah. blood i'm not sure what that is i don't know what that is yeah, yeah. i thought that was food isn't was it the he... food that goes around with his lips yeah Man, what was he something? eating can also that's another thing can someone yeah, tell us what, what he was eating the what entire... was that yeah because his lips are so dark and i'm like i don't know what this is should i know what this is and like jagu um, doesn't even like mention it i'm like no, yeah so it must if be i known. met him i'm like what's going on here to be fair we got several comments on the past couple of videos saying hey guys we know you're about to watch pk just so you know there is a lot of cultural stuff from india there that may you know we may go over our heads. So please do anything that you think we missed. Oh, that's right. Someone did mention that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love to know. Yeah, I'd I would love, love to know. I'd, I'd love, love to know more about this stuff. those little um, details. That would be really cool. Yeah. yeah. But I loved the scene when he's like confronting Jagu's dad and the rock is there and he goes, look at this man work so hard right. to that's try cool. to sell you some tea from his thermos. And then look at this, the rock. I'll double my capital in 15 minutes. Right. And the way he like, that's another brilliant thing about this movie. There's so many brilliant things. The way yeah, he I agree. basically sets up the rock, he basically, he's telling you how to set up a business. Yeah. Here it is. Here's the capital investment. Now we watch our investors come in, our customers. And like, to me, like that's what big, big mega churches are to people. Uh, Joel Osteen, like Joel Osteen, during hurricane, he wouldn't open his church so refugees could, you know, sleep somewhere. He made him sleep outside. 
That's that's yeah. who this guy is. Don't fucking get me started on Joel Olstein. That guy, that guy, is a like piece you know, there's, there's a whole TV show about Joel Olstein. It's called The Righteous that. Gemstones, and all they yeah. do is just shit on him. And it's probably one of the funniest underrated TV shows on on the planet. Danny McBride, effing hero. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, my point is that this movie strikes up so many different conversations with people. Yeah. I, I could have the ability to strike up so many different conversations. You know, I I've had so many. You know, we've had friends that we don't talk to anymore, but couples say, you should come to our church. And, you know, I'll say something like, well, you know, I'm secure in my faith and I'm good. Thank you. And they go, well, if you're secure in your faith, why do you need the church? And I'm like, why don't you should come to church? And I said, well, because I'm secure in the faith. Where where does it say I I need to go to your church and follow what you read and listen to what your pastor says? And they go, oh, uh, well, you know, I'm already secure. I already have Mm -hmm. a connection to a higher power. Right. Right. So why do I need your church to amplify it? Is yeah. that right? So like, you know, I, yeah, again, this movie just hit home for me in so many different ways. It was, it was what a lovely, lovely story. And what's great is that it's again, like what he, from what he was, his, his goal was to not be offensive. I didn't find it offensive at all. I don't think anyone really does. I don't think, yeah. I don't see how you could, it, it, everything, yeah. it, it, everything it puts forth are things that are, he True. just shows them as they are. Yeah, it nothing, shows them as is. Yeah, and, and you know, to you know, piggyback off that point, to kind of like back to Sardar Udon really quick, you know, there was, you know, it didn't get sent to the Academy because it was the some people thought it was anti-British. This film is as anti-religion as that was anti-British. Oh, a hundred percent agree with you that. You know, he's not. I don't think, for my take, Ed, do you think he was trying to say you shouldn't be religious? No, of course not. Yeah, of course I would completely not. Completely agree. That's such a ridiculous no. Heck yeah. no. But any that's the thing, right? Is that uh, a lot of people see any particular uh question or doubt against uh what they believe in as an attack an on attack. on them and it's just like no, it's not. And like that's that just goes to show how uh perhaps your your what's the right word? Um I'm trying well, I'm trying not to be offensive. But <laughs> uh insecure you can be about your own thoughts. Yeah. You know, because if you were secure, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't respond so emotionally to certain things. Yeah. Right. Like if you were so secure about something, you just know that it's for yourself and that it works for you and yeah. you can go about your day just yeah. fine. You don't have to care about what anybody else is doing. Um, and again, yeah, no, I, it, if it was, an, if it was so anti-religious, I, I, I don't, I just don't see, uh how he could get away with like showing some of the stuff that he did which again as far as i'm concerned like this was like the like a chris rock joke at the oscars it really wasn't that big of a deal like none of it yeah um you know one so i guess two questions for you Mm -hmm. one anything you didn't like about the film and (laughs) oh you got something yeah i got one thing okay one thing i was like I hate this, but it's fine. Oh no! It was um, PK's theme. Oh, his I musical lo- theme. I love all the all the other music's perfectly fine. I fucking hate that jing that jingle. I forgot. I already forgot how it goes exactly, but it, it's like, uh, oh no, it's dun, 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 dun. yeah. Dun, it dun, I, I so yeah. I thought the the jingle was really annoying and just obnoxious i it's it wasn't my favorite jingle that that's that's basically really the only like real complaint i had besides mm. okay like okay could it be cut down a little maybe a little bit it's still a long movie but i, I don't mind it i don't i really, yeah. really don't so. at this point I, i'm okay with the length of things i'm yeah, starting yeah. to just accept that our warming movies, up to yeah. it yeah please drop <laughs> you know if there's movies under two hours drop them <laughs> drop them in there we want to see what a movie under two hours looks uh, like from india but yeah. all jokes aside no mm. uh the link didn't bo- bother me and really um uh actually i don't i didn't mind his you know his jingle mostly because it was childlike like he was and I, th- I yeah i get that i just thought it was annoying like just <laughs> objectively annoying jingle, objectively like, annoying. by itself okay. yeah okay I get uh, why they did it. I just fucking hate that jingle. It yeah, makes, I mean, it makes me want to rip my ears off. I can, but, I know. see it. I see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all I'm saying. I don't blame you, but yeah, I think uh, last thing I'll say about this movie that I really loved is I just I love the editing of this film, especially in the last final sequence, the cutbacks sure. to the 
you know, to every character, every character getting their scene, getting their shot, getting their moment, just really concise, great editing. And again, it was the director edited the film. Um, yes, yes, uh, yes. Just, you know, sometimes editors make the best directors and directors make the best editors. Uh, I you think know what that's what they want. You know what you want. Yeah. I mean, Ed and I are both video editors as our, you know, job, job. Uh, nothing cool like this, unfortunately. Um, not but not yet. That's the great attitude. But yeah, I thought the, the the editing in this was just some of the best I've seen so far, uh, and even in Three Idiots. Much I, like Three I, Idiots. Much like Three I, Idiots. Yeah. yeah I didn't I didn't acknowledge it in Three Idiots, but yeah, it just filmmaking on a just great level. Everything is poignant and great and works, and you know, every edit has a point, and I just like love it I, um yeah yeah, yeah. I, I can't say enough good about this film well did you have a did you have anything bad to say i have about? nothing bad to say. wow wow this okay. is the you know again uh i, I thought like no i got nothing bad i got nothing bad to say about this film really yeah, I again I, I, mine was just the music i mean that, yeah. that one little music part that's it uh, other than that i really really like this movie yeah uh, the performances the editing the camera work all just like really great all just you know uh, to a point, and I, I miss editing like that. Even in like everything, everywhere, you know, we're you know, we rightfully say it's a very, very good film, but it's too indulgent. And there's yeah. edits in there, and I'm just like, okay, come on, let's go, let's move. I don't, I haven't yeah. felt that yet, especially with um, Three Idiots in this film, and it's right up there. Uh, so I guess we'll say, where does this go in your ranking? Of all the movies you've gone through so far. Let's go. Let's go all of them. Ooh, fuck. All six of them. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Okay. Uh, if I were to put it somewhere, oh, I definitely, I mean, Three Idiots is still up there. From Like, that's the best thing I've ever seen so far. Mm. And probably RR. Then uh, probably Patan. Mm. Probably, uh, like, right below Patan, I guess. Mm. Okay. I, 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 I'm starting to re like realize I need to rewatch RRR to maybe refall in love with it because right now it's three idiots. I agree with you. It's probably the best. It's uh, arguably the best movie I've ever seen. I, I, PK yeah. is, <laughs> I, I just can't get over how good that movie is. Uh, so three idiots, uh, PK, then, then PK. absolutely ma another masterpiece, not too far down as I'm, you know, Patan came out on Amazon prime and I rewatched it. Wait, and, really? Yes. Oh, <laughs> shit. I didn't rewatch that right now, bro. Yes. And Patan has passed RRR for me in terms wow. of- Wow. I'm not going to say oh. it's a better film. I'm not saying it's a better no, film. No, I understand. This is a personal list, right? I'm not, yeah, yeah, it's a personal I, list. I, yeah, it's a personal I, list. I, Shah Rukh Khan in that is just so magnetic. Oh my God. Jonathan Abram is just so magnetic. Like, <sighs> oh, I just love it. I love the, the relationship with Deepka. It's just so good, guys. I really, really love it. Um, and then I would put RRR as the fourth. So somehow, some way, it's dropped to fourth for me. Uh, That's not a. It's still a strong. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't fight you on that. That's yeah. Probably, it's not like, yeah. I, no, All right. Before you drop on Patan and we get, we're gonna I'll get. I'm gonna, gonna leave this stream on. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, no, so that's yeah. that's where that goes for me. Um, um, but. Are you still looking for it? Yeah, I'm trying to, it's fine. I'm just, I'm so, oh my God, I had no clue it was already like out. It's moving a lot now. What do you mean I'm moving? What do you mean moving? Go, your cursor's moving a lot. Keep going. Oh, okay, hold on. I don't know what's going on here. But it's not, I just want to see it with my eyes, you know? But it's, it's, it's there. I watched it. But it's Oh, for anybody listening, I'm like looking at my 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 uh, TV right now. Extended version. Hold the yes, phone. It's the, it's the extended version. Watch now. You can't oh, press it. Man. You can't press it because we gotta. We can't. Yeah, not right gonna, now, but you know, we'll no, get no, copyright no, strike. I just want to know it was real, dude. Yeah, it's real. Look at that. Look at that man right behind you. <laughs> yeah, Shao Rukan. What's up, bro? Oh my God, dude. Um, after okay, after John Wick. Yeah part four this weekend i'm i'm I'm, oh. I'm i'm putting that back on already yeah. i'm i'm downloading it i'm having a review i love this movie i love the 6.3 get the fuck out of here the, everybody needs to watch that movie i really really loved baton and i saw somebody 
thank you for this comment because I loved this comment. And, Go ahead. What, what did it say? Uh, somebody said that Patan was like Top Gun Maverick for Indian cinema. It really, a lot of people, 2022 apparently was a really bad year for Indian cinema. Oh, no shit. Uh, based on the comments. Yeah. Uh, and Patan kind of brought it back. It didn't have the. Really? Yeah. yeah. They said they have woke is woke stuff, but not the same type of woke stuff that we deal with. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. Ooh, I'd um, love to know what kind, what kind of. Yeah. Woke please that. drop that in the comments. Drop What's what, the what, Indian what woke? woke What's, the What's Indian, Indian woke, woke look like? I'm you know? really curious because like everybody has true. a different definition. I of feel woke. like wokeism is really localized to America, but I don't know. So do I. Other, I'm sure, maybe I'm sure there are other places that have experienced a different level of that. That'd be interesting. Yeah. If Super that's true, let us know. I'd be I'd be curious. But, I'd be curious. But yes. Okay. Back to the. <laughs> sorry, that was a long, long uh, sidetrack there. But anyway. That's fine. Yeah. Well, RRR yeah. drops to four on my list after watching Patan. Okay. Time, okay. Back right. up. It gives me that Top Gun Maverick feel. Um. But anyway, yes. We Three idiots. One of the best movies I've ever seen. I cannot get over that movie. And then yeah. uh, PK would be right here. Tipsy. Um, yeah. But so, Wow. Yeah, that's pretty. So wait, that's third? No, PK second. And then PK second? Third. Oh, yeah. I would put PK second. Wow. wow under, wow. just under, just under three idiots. It's just okay. based on how, look, there's yeah, my right. run and then there's my, I get you. I, I get you. How the way my, my, my list is largely based on just two, those, two, those things too. Uh, those two things too is like, uh, you know, watchability and like how much would I, <laughs> Go back to it and rewatch over and over yeah. and over again, and like just how how good it was too. Um, but yeah. PK, so PK is up there. Definitely, I mean, on a filmmaking level, it's great. But yeah, I, I don't yeah. know if I'd. I definitely would rather watch Patan, to, yeah. uh, you know, on a daily basis. I would rather watch. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, Patan. But they're all. I mean, they're all so good. Yeah. They're they're all very very yeah. strong. Yeah. Very, yeah, very I'll strong. happily rewatch Three Idiots anytime, especially if I need to. Oh, you know, I can't wait to rewatch Three Idiots, dude. I cannot wait to rewatch three idiots. Yeah, I can't wonderful. wait to watch all those. R- I need. I do want to watch R. R. Uh, I don't know if I'll be rewatching Star Diary Dom anytime soon. That was a that was no. A, I mean, that, that, that's not a movie. Every now and <laughs> I then, think it's fine. built for rewatching. That's yeah, not that movie what is it's a, for. Uh, uh, but an excellent film. That movie so. is uh, a lot. Um, but Alex, what are we doing next? Do you happen oh, to know? Do you next, happen to know? yes. After this, on the next Indian Tuesday. We have <laughs> my name is Khan. Uh, oh, okay, nice. It is a. Uh, I read the like log line. A, a a man who suffers from Asperger's gets mistakenly arrested after the 9/11 attacks in Los Angeles. Oh, um, that just sounds like a really deep movie, and I can't wait to watch that. After that, Shah Rukh Khan. Um, a lot of man. people told us to skip Dawn One and only watch Dawn Two, so we might do that. Uh, that, that's, that's so narratively okay. As I guess that's. I keep hey. asking, is it narratively okay? But um, you know, we want to see a not I wanna, good. I, I was about to say, I kind of want. I'm down maybe to watch, do bad watch one. it. Yeah. <laughs> well, our maybe our bad one can be TJMM. Uh, we do want to see a movie in theaters. There's been a lot of. Yes. There's been fighting in the comments. A lot of people are like, "Oh, you should watch this," and then people are like, "No, don't watch that. That's terrible." And it, some people have said, <laughs> "No, it's a good time. Go watch it." And look. I think if we can watch another Indian movie in theaters, it would be to the benefit of us. I agree. Oh, absolutely. Well, I yeah. love watching movies in theaters too. I had yeah. a great time with Patan in the theater. Mm. I, I mean, oh my god, Me too. I, I would totally rewatch Patan in the theater. I, well, I if I could, did, if I can recreate that crowd that was around the first oh. time, and then I would Your know. Not so great, man. Oh. Yeah, then I would know who Tiger was and why everybody was screaming when the Yo, scarf dropped. Tiger three. <laughs> yeah. Tiger three dropping out later this year. That's gonna yeah. Be, that's gonna yeah. be sick. Yeah. Apparently we got to watch out for another one called Animal. Uh, Animal. That, that'll be a big action film that's coming out as well. Okay. Anyway, okay, right on. Um, we're going to wrap this up. PK, fantastic film, fantastic suggestion, guys. Thank Love you it. so much for these suggestions. Keep them coming. Keep the love coming. Uh, and one last time, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll keep doing this. Um, we'll see you next Tuesday.